What is up, you guys? It's your girl Kat. And if you're new here and you haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Kat, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I make my flower pot cake. So, I have my sunflower pot cake and my stargazer cake. I made this sunflower cake for a client. She requested a sunflower for her mother, and so I decided to make my grandmother which is in heaven that will be celebrating her fourth birthday in heaven today so i'll be making her a stargazer or a pot cake so if you want to learn how to make this flower pot cake please hit the subscribe button down below and like this video give it a thumbs up please so without further ado let's get on into the video so for this cake, I will be using my chocolate ganache and my moist chocolate cake because my client requested for a chocolate cake. So, and of course, prepare your materials needed <laughs> a rubber scraper, some spatula, and a bench scraper her if you have but if you don't have a spatula will do so this is my cake board and my turntable then we're going to stack and fill all of our cake my cakes are sliced evenly and then i will going to put some simple syrup on all of our cake slices before we fill them with our chocolate ganache. This chocolate moist cake is moist already, but I just want to make sure that my cake is really, really moist because Mas masarap. <laughs> okay, we're on for our second layer of cake. And of course, don't forget your simple syrup. Para moist talaga ang cake natin. As you can see, my cake is moist na talaga siya. And then we add our simple syrup pa for make to make it even moister. Moister. <laughs> I used a seven seven inch on my first layer of cake and then now I I used a 9 inches cake pan for my top layer because we want our pot to be shaped like a pot, you know what I mean? <laughs> so after this, we're going to place our last cake on top. Okay. And now we're going I will show you how I will cover the cake first step is to flip I'm going to flip this cake let's flip it all right and then removing the cake board base So, this is what it looks like. And now it's ready to be covered in ganache. And we want our ganache to be not even, you know what I mean? <laughs> like a V shape. Because the, the pot is like a V shape. It's not 
evenly straight so just try to put that in mind that we're not aiming for a sharp edge straight ganache here we want our cake to be a V shape kind of like a volcano shape I will be fast forwarding my video so that you won't you won't get bored <laughs> so now I'm, I'm going to use my bench scraper to make it nice and straight not straight straight but I mean like the volcano straight <laughs> volcano shape straight like that <laughs> I ju I'm just keep on adding my chocolate ganache on the lower part of the cake so it will be like a volcano you know what I mean? <laughs> and if your chocolate ganache is separating, just wait for it to like cool down a bit and then try to uh, scrape it and you'll see that it will be manageable more manageable or if your chocolate ganache is quite runny you can um, place your cake in the refrigerator first and then after a minute or so you can take it out and um, scrape it or put another ganache on top of it so now you can see that my cake is more of like a v-shaped or volcano shaped for a pot and we will be flipping it again later so i'm happy with my shape with the shape of my cake and i'm ready to flip it so yeah just gonna put my cake board right back on top and then flipping okay so now is the time to remove this cake board um spare cake board and we don't we don't want to just uh pull this cake board we wanted to slowly release it from the cake because we don't want to damage the shape that we make so just carefully drag the knife and releasing okay so just like so and then this cake is ready so we're going to roll our fondant i will be using a rolled fondant that is ready made and i just wash my hands thoroughly so remember always remember to wash your hands before handling foods or other products for your customers so i will be rolling it out like a log and just putting some sugar icing so it won't stick on the mat and it is ready to be rolled and measured accordingly to the size of the cake 
and I want my fondant to be higher higher than the cake because that is what the design of my client uh, flower pot you know what I'm saying <laughs> so yeah now we're ready to cover it and if there's a gap that's okay we can just uh, cut another one and then it's like this so yeah now for the soil i'll be using a oreo oreo cookie crumbs so it is like a loam soil or other soil like some rocks in the soil <laughs> so just putting a lot of it until it's kind of like overflowing so just like that to not evenly flattening flattening out but just you know We don't want it to be perfectly so now for my accent my design of the pot I'll be using a what you call this oh my gosh I forgot a mold yeah that's what it is a mold and then and then we're going to put some of the cornstarch onto our mold to release our fondant or you can also use some gum paste so just make multiple of this and then we're ready to stick it on or fondant on our cake I'm just using some water here to stick our detailing or details see that then slightly press it to stick And we're going to put also on the bottom okay so our pot is ready to be covered in silver edible dust if you want you can cover it so i will i will be coloring it in silver because my client wants a silver pot and for my grandmother i will be um leaving it as it is I don't want to color it because she is in heaven so yeah so if you're going to paint your pot you can use this edible luster dust and a paintbrush just paint paint it um paint it using a brush you can also use um, some vodka or lemon juice to dilute your luster dust but I really don't want that but if you have a spray what do you call that an airbrush yeah if you have an airbrush you can airbrush your luster dust
so much for watching this video i hope you learned something today from me i guess so until my next one don't forget to subscribe for my next video so adios